What's going on, you lovely gospel gangsters out there? It's your big boy Aaron J to see, and welcome to another episode of Axios Media. And today we're gonna watch this video called "Top Ten Botched Plastic Surgery Fails: Plastic Surgery Before and After Face." Now, plastic surgery is one of those controversial things where the more you do it, the more ugly you look, and the lesser you do it, the much better you may naturally look. So, in this kind of situation, we're gonna have a look and see what kind of famous names that are like you know, taking over the league and how many of them have currently, you know, look so ugly with plastic surgery. This top 10 countdown of botched plastic surgery fa uh, fails has has it all. From botched nose jobs to botched facelifts, these plastic surgeries before and after pics videos are all shocking, <laughs> all really shocking, especially the lip injections before and after photos. So take note that we have a list here of people that we would like to have a look and to see what happened to them before and what they look like currently today and let's have a look all right in the meantime thank you guys so much for support leave a like share here subscribe comment on the video and let's hit the let's hit the video play right now in three two one boom most of these people on dear god look already this first video already i kind of already suspect that there's something wrong okay so i'm not even gonna say what she did to her face but we're just gonna have a look and see where it ends up okay in our countdown have had such bad plastic surgery that they don't even look recognizable to wow. themselves anymore. Who is she? Some of these unfortunate souls just had bad luck by choosing a horrible. Some of these unfortunate souls, damn, must be a pretty serious. Plastic surgeon, while the others have developed an addiction to plastic I remember surgery. Her. Before we get started, oh, go God. ahead and subscribe and also smash the like button. Yeah, smash the like button, guys. I love you guys so much. Now, let's get started with our. Oh my God! Countdown Who is this? The most botched plastic surgery fails. Wow, who is she? Bro, what happened between this photo and this? Like, come on. Let's even go back a little bit. Botched plastics. Like, dude, she looks way prettier before. Now she Surgery just looks like... She just, she just looks like the elephant man. Like, look at this. Dude, that, this is horrifying, mate. Okay, who's the first one or top the ten or something? One, oh, number top one, all right. List website in okay. The world. All right, Pedia, tell me. Tell me. Number ten. Nikki Cox. Nikki who is she? Cox. I don't know who's Nikki Cox. Show me. Nikki Cox is a D-list celebrity from the United States of America. Yeah, of course, she has I'm to be from the U.S. Number of you remember Nikki? Unhappily from the ever sitcom. after. Hmm. Unhappily ever after. Now, if you take a damn, she was very pretty back then. Wow, look at her now. I guess she feels like she just wants to like stay young. Now, the sad thing about plastic surgery is that it can be beneficial to people who like have like burned skin or maybe have like certain um you know skin problems and so forth. But when you go to the extreme like this, I mean, I don't really count this as too extreme. But back then, she was very pretty. I mean, look at her. She's very beautiful back then. I, I, I guess she wants to stay young. That's the problem. When, when you want to like cheat death and like stop old age, it's impossible. But this is just horrendous. I mean, she doesn't even look recognizable. I mean, she does look roughly almost not quite the same. She just she has more tan. Her, she had a lip. You know, uh, you know, lip in, in uh, I think she extended her lips. She extended her cheeks. Her eyes definitely, her eyebrows, and I think she did something to her forehead. I'm not too sure, but the, this whole face you can definitely see that there's something a lot a quick different. Glimpse at her photos, you might think, "Hey, I don't think she had plastic surgery at all." No, she but literally. Before, you look at her before and look at her now. Okay, you can already tell that she did a lot. She definitely did some eye, eye surgery too. I mean, look at look at her before. I mean, her eyes were like pretty. Now it's like a bit closed up. I'm like, dude, what? No, what kind of? Messed up thing have you done to your face, dude? Before and after photos more closely, then you'll see the apparent changes. Yeah, and I mean, Her you can already see it right now. Look like the most obvious is the lips and cheek. I mean, the lips are basically the most obvious one. She did some like increasing in the lips, and she definitely did some cheek, you know, injection it on there. Work done. You can obviously see that she'd fillers injected into her lips. Yeah, no, Looks that's like quite she obvious. Had Botox injected into her cheeks. Exactly. See what I told you. But she must consider herself very lucky as the other entrance on our count. Okay, I, I guess this is not really too bad. It, it it's it's still not the most 
it's still not the greatest in the world but it's not as bad as what a lot of people say but it's still for me it's it's not really you know i i, I hope that she realized that it's wrong but either way it's a bit too late for her to do all these things so let's see Down. don't even look recognizable to their former selves anymore true she At looks a bit tanner right now oh my goodness that's her acting dude she looks you can already tell her cheeks and her lips are so out of place i mean come on man i mean if you're gonna really do something like this i mean learn the consequences okay number nine Michaela Romanini. Who is she? <laughs> Michaela Romanini? Who is this? Padini? What? Who is she? Michaela Romanini. Dang, she's beautiful. Is she like from Russia? Or she's really beautiful, mate. Is an Italian socialite. <laughs> me, my dumb, <laughs> me, my dumb brain said Russian. Oh my goodness, Italian. Sorry about that. Famous for her collagen abuse. Her before. Wow, she's beautiful, guys. Considering the fact she was wow. 40 years old. Oh my. What was that? Wait, wait. Of age. 40 years of age and she looks like this? Dude. Look at her before. She was so. Well, let's, go, let's go to the first picture. Dude, she looks extremely beautiful. Look at her. Adam, considering the fact she was only 40. Oh my goodness. What did she do? L literally, you already know the cheeks, the eyes, you know, the lips. I think she did something to her nose too. It's, it's not like. It's not like leveled properly, but dude, look at her eyes. One is like crooked, like, dude, this is just horrendous, man. This is just horrendous. My goodness, I know if you really want to stay that young, then go go to a cryogenic, you know, sleep, like stay like that, F freeze yourself, okay, for for the rest of your life. But dude, what the heck, man? You don't need to do surgery over this nonsense. Three years of age when the photograph to the right was taken. Oh my gosh, she was only forty years old. A plastic surgery addiction had. Oh my god, look at her on the right. She looks scary, dude. She looks like something out of the, like, horror film. Look at her on the left. Dude, she's extremely beautiful. Wow. And look at her on the right. At 40 years of age, this is just scary. I'm, I mean, I'm even scared to look at the photo right now. Let me just... It made her pretty face drastically different now. <laughs> drastically different? Kayla says she developed an addiction to lip collagen injections at a young age and still continues to get treatments to this Wow, even at young age, she was still doing it, wow. Day. You can clearly see that she had worked on to every part of her face. Even if she was a kid, she was still a pretty girl too. I mean, come on. And barely looks recognizable. McKinley yeah. Romanini was once so beautiful that both men and women found her. Oh beautiful. my goodness, oh my goodness. She is way too out of the league here. I'm sorry, I don't know who tells you you're, you're beautiful now. Um, you may be beautiful in your own way, but I can't even look at you, man. I can't, I can't even look at this video. It's really a damn. Uh, they even zoomed in on like, oh, it's so scary. Next, 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 next. Oh, thank God. Number eight. Okay, here we go. Who it is? Christina Ray. Who is she? <laughs> who are these people? I don't know who are they. Christina Ray. Right. Let's see. If you think. Oh my goodness, dude, what the heck is this? Christina's lips are comical, then you're absolutely right, as she's literally trying to morph herself into a cartoon character. Oh my gosh, she she had she had these in her forehead, in her head, oh god, the demons in her, wow. Christina Ray holds the Guinness Book of World Records for having the biggest lips in the world. What? She she has the biggest lips in the world, dude. That must be a whole new record, man. That's disgusting. Like, look at her. Okay, this is probably in her teens area, dude. But, dude, she was quite okay. She was pretty back then. What happened to her now? Why did she even the put Guinness this? Book of world records for having the biggest lips in the world. I don't know why. She why? She claims to be obsessed with looking like her favorite cartoon character, Jessica Rabbit. Really? And she has had thousands of lip injections in order to achieve her unique look. Christina Ray's before and after track. Bro, you look nothing like Jessica Rabbit. Even if you did, you don't even look closely resemble like her. Maybe if you stop like in the middle, then fine. But even the lips itself is just horrendous, man. 
Like, why, what's with putting all the studs? Why are you putting all these metal horns here? And what's with the nose ring? Are you trying to be a bull or something? What's with the studs too? And the ear, what's with the ear? Ew! This, a lot of people think that, ah, uh, Aaron, you can't, you can't judge her because this is her self-expression. Well, it's a horrendous self-expression, man. This is, look at her from young and look at her from now. She looks like something that came out from the, from, from the gates of hell, man. This is just scary. What's, look at the lips. I don't I don't think she can even move it because it's so big. I don't think she can even start a conversation with, with those lips. And her eyes are different. Here's blue and here's like green. What did you do, mate? You look like 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 something the devil would marry. Like it's disgusting, man. Come on. Mind boggling. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, she even did her tongue. Oh my goodness, the devil. Oh my goodness. Why would you do something this dumb? Then more plastic surgery. She already blew up her lips to astronomical proportions, and even got some horn implants. Oh. Okay, I'm actually gagging literally. Okay, that that ear looks that ear loop looks so big. You can literally like dunk a basketball on top of there, man. That's just I, that's just uh, why would you? Why would anybody do this, man? You, why would anybody make their body look like something that came out of the like the Alice in Wonderland? Like this is horrendous. This is five times worse as the previous person before. This is, oh my goodness! First of all, you look like the devil himself. Secondly, what are you trying to prove here? What are you trying to prove? This is. This is now you don't even look like a human. You look like an elf. Man. You look like something out of the Narnia. Batted in her forehead. But she's now planning on having a nose job, oh breast God. implants, and what? also intends on having her ears pointed like an elf. This is why I hate these surgical doctors. They just want to make money off of these kind of people. Like, they want to, you know, you can do whatever you want to your body. Just give me the money and I'll make it happen for you. Like, come on. Doctors at this point should, like, try to educate these young young teens. Like, hey, you know, you don't have to do this. You don't need, you, you, you can't do these things, you know. You look different. But what in the world are they doing to these young to these young minds, you know? If, if you have a problem with your skin, it's fine to do surgery. Or if you've gone through an accident then it's quite okay i mean it's cool about it but if you're going to modify your body to look like an alien then i'm sorry to say that this has just gone a bit too far oh boy her plastic surgery i mean look at her really getting out of hand literally look at that that's horrendous man i hope the next one is not this bad pete burns pete burns okay who is he come on show it to me as we move Dude, that's Pete Burns. Dude, this is Pete Burns. He looks handsome as hell back then. What is what is what is did he did he change his sex? He looks like a he looks more of a female here compared to back then. What the heck? Further down this list of botched plastic surgery fails. The before and after photos just. Oh my goodness, dude! He looks amazing. He looks amazing back then. Look at that. He looks like 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 Nick Fury from like the Avengers. Like dude, he looks awesome. But what happened to him on the right? What made him go down to this path, man? Is he trying to be like some sort of a like some sort of like like the little mermaid or something? Is this like a like a botched version of the little mermaid? Like this is this this is not even horrendous. This is just terrifying, man. What are you trying to look like right now? You don't even look human. It's become more ludicrous and unbelievable. Pete Burns is another unfortunate soul addicted to plastic surgery. He has spent almost all of his life savings on cosmetic procedures. What he was once a famous singer for, Dead or Alive, a now defunct British band, famous for the hit single, You Spin Me Round Like a Record. Wow. You, if you do that song, that song is pretty awesome. You spin me round, round, baby, round, round, like a record, baby. Yeah, that song was so awesome. It's it's like the most classical song, like in the seventies, but oh, seventies or eighties, yeah, around there. But this is just, this is just sad, man, to see that this dude actually went through a very, 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 very unusual path. Even though he admitted that it's quite possible that his face might fall off one day. Yeah, it is true. It won't deter him from getting more surgery. Why? The once hand what makes you want to do more surgery? Dude, you don't even look human. You look like an, a, like an alternate different kind of person. You, you look like something out of the, uh, uh, like, like, like out of the cartoon characters like, you know, I see on, on TV. This is just terrifying. Why would you go through 
your whole life and waste so much money on your body that 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 you just look so horrible, man. This is five times worse than I expected. Oh my goodness, dude! I, I feel so bad for this dude. Like, people really need to educate them and tell them that hey, this is not good for your body or good for your future. Look at him, man. It's it's just so sad. It's a man. Now looks completely unrecognizable. Yeah, he himself. looks unrecognizable. Dude, he oh my goodness, it feels Number so sad. Six. Who? Jackie Stallone. Jackie's wait, wait, Jackie Stallone? Sylvester Stallone's Sylvester Stallone, is it? Wife or, or daughter or what? What I I'm so sorry, I'm not so good with the with the people but I'm, I know the name. Stallone. Jackie Stallone is the mother of famous actor. Sylvester Stallone. I knew it! Oh, Jackie Stallone is the mother? Dang, I had no idea. Wow, Sylvester Stallone, I'm sorry that you... I love Sylvester Stallone. I love Rocky, I love Rambo. I love The Expendables 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, don't hate me on the 4, but I just love it. But I never thought his mother would go, in through, this, go through this kind of stuff, man. During an interview. Oh my god. Is this what she looks like now? Dude, she was so beautiful back then. Why do people... Like, want to have this mentality, like, if I, like, enhance my face when I grow old, I look, I look, still look younger. Like, dude, that's, that's a very dumb expectation, you know, but look at her. She was so beautiful. Look at how beautiful she is. I mean, I would literally fall in love with her, man. But now, um, I may have to run away from this. I may have to, like, get a divorce. <laughs> this is just terrifying, man. Look at that. Oh, my God, these ads. Okay, skip, 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 skip. There we go. Oh my god, skip you. Okay. okay. Do you agree with the previous way? Disagree. There we go. Age of 93, Jack. Dude, she's 93 and she's alive? Dude! She's 93! Look at her! And she's still doing surgery on her face, she dude. She regretted getting so much plastic surgery. Oh, you, now you regret? She resembles a chipmunk with a mouthful of walnut. <laughs> she resembles a chipmunk with a mouthful of walnuts. Dude, she looks worse than that. She looks like the monster from the Goonies, man. It's just disgusting. Dude, how could you even do this to yourself? Jackie underwent an extremely botched facelift. And she has tried almost everything from cheek implants. Why? Brow lips to nose jobs to rectify her appearance. Why? She's what would also you... an eccentric character. She claims she can talk to dogs and once set up a... Okay, at this point, surgery is one thing, but now that you claim that you can talk to dogs, so I'm going to have to start saying that you're a lunatic at 93, and I think you need help, okay, Miss Jackie? Psychic hotline. And one set up a psychic hotline for what? To talk to the dead? Whereby people can call and ask her for advice concerning their future. Oh my After goodness. analyzing her before... Jackie, you need Jesus. I mean, literally, if you were to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior right now, I would literally, literally do a Zoom video where, you know, we can, like, somehow, you know, say the Lord's, say the Lord's Prayer, say the Sinner's Prayer, and then we'll get you hooked up with, with, with the nearest church, okay? But this is just horrific. The fact that, you can t that you're trying to say you can talk to dogs and you're psychic, I think you better get out of this, you know, evil spiritual life because you really, really need to... Need to escape from all these demonic possessions, man. And after photos, it's quite possible that maybe she wanted to resemble her famous son. Let us. Did you say you want to resemble like your famous son? Okay, I know. So okay, Sylvester Stallone, if you don't Sly, also known as Sly, he had some surgeries to his face, but he doesn't look that terrible compared to his own mother. Like if you look at here, his mother looks five times worse. And even if you try to look like him why why would you want to look like your own child like come on why can't what, what what's wrong with your own face i mean you look very beautiful before just age gracefully like a normal human being i mean at the end of the day i mean you're gonna be ashes you know when the time comes and when the time comes you better prepare because you will not look beautiful when you're dead especially with those surgeries on your face it's quite possible that maybe she wanted to resemble her famous son. I love Stallone. Love I love Sylvester Stallone. In the comment section below. I think she really needs to have Jesus in her life. This is just horrific, man. Get Jesus, okay? Number five. Donatella Versace. Oh, the famous Versace, huh? Versace, okay, let's see what we have here. Donatella. It's a female. Donatella Versace is another victim of botched plastic surgery. 
What did she look She's like before? She's a fashion designer, who underwent a series of plastic surgery procedures, after taking over the house of Versace. A simple glimpse at her- Dude. Dude. Look at her before and look at her now. Before she looked stunning. Now she looks like a Halloween character. She kind of looks like that that horror, you know, that 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 scary horror. You know, she kind of looks like I don't know how to explain, but she looks like a very like like a ghost of a woman. You know, it's just like creepy. Look at this. Look at her eyes. They're like dead. They look like resemble of a dead person. You know, they're like so dark. Like literally, she looks like she's possessed by a demon. Her nose is definitely fixed. Her cheeks are extended. Her botched lips. And definitely, definitely, she did something with her eyes, man. This is all not natural. She literally looks terrifying. She almost looks like she's about to turn to skin and to, like, a skeleton, you know. She's horrible, man. This is just scary. This is something that no child and nobody should do. Her before and after pictures lets you know why she deserves the fifth spot on this list. Yeah, she, she deserves the fifth spot. Oh my goodness, look at her before, look at her in the middle. The middle, I think she should have stopped in the middle. If she were to do like any more, she would have ended up on the right right now. But since she didn't stop in the middle, so she ended up looking like that. She kind of looks like an amphibian, like some sort of sea monster, like the one that can go on land and water. Oh my goodness, she, she kind of rem reminds me of that fish from Hellboy. You know, that, that the old version of Hellboy, she kind of looks like that fish. It's just disgusting, man. I mean, she looks like a frog. Like, even if a frog were to be a human being, it, it, it would look much better than her. Like, come on, herself. dude. People usually get a nose job to make their noses smaller. Yeah. But because of Donatella's multiple botched surgeries, her nose has become even larger. Yo, I her don't know why she did that. Is a direct contrast to the loose skin on the rest of her body. Loose skin? Ugh. Abuse. Her once luscious plum lips have been debauched by too many collagen injections yeah makes her odd smile even more stranger than it already is. yeah that's one creepy smile mate i mean look at this okay maybe in the beginning all right the second and third one was not bad okay but this one right here she literally looks like a frog i mean if a frog if i mean if if a princess was to kiss a frog it will turn into a into a prince but in this case, if, if, if you end up becoming like this, and I don't really know what to tell you, brother, you will, you, I will just have to, like, to leave this frog and kill it, you know. Sad, man, how these people, they have so much money in the world, and, they, and yet they're not satisfied with their body. Michael Jackson. Oh, my goodness. I love Michael Jackson. He's literally my favorite celebrity, but I, I do agree with this fourth placing. His plastic surgery was just extreme. Let's have a look. Please don't be hard on him, man. I love him. Michael Jackson. Look at how handsome. Okay. Look how handsome he was back when he was like dark skin, like he was African American. He should have stopped at the album Bad. He looked very handsome in the middle, even though it's quite obvious he did a lot of surgery onto his face. But at least he looked way handsome here. He looked like some sort of a like. A whole new different person, but he was very good looking. He should have stopped at making the at, at, at the surgery right here at making the bad album. But when he went into the 90s and the mid 2000s, he, he just lost it. You can tell by the nose it's fake. I mean, everybody says the nose is fake, and I do believe it is fake. Um, he, he had some hair growing, but I think he didn't like having facial hair. And he did a lot to his eyes. He did cheekbones, and he did a cleft here, which he never had previously. His, his eyebrows are no he even he even had a wig okay this is not even his real hair this is like fake hair you can tell just by looking at all three photos that this was the worst among all the middle one was the best i think he should have stopped here but this one really really was horrifying man is rumored to have had more than 12 nose jobs wow done on his entire face including his lips jaw chin this is actually a mugshot of him back in the day when he was like accused of sexual assaulting children. Um, but this one, this look how scary. At first, when you look at him, he looks like a woman. But when you go closer to him, you you it kind of looks like you're staring into like a like a ghost, like a literal ghost, because he looks terrifying here. Look at this face, eyelids and eyebrows. When you can you tell before and after pictures. The before he looked amazing. I mean, he should have stuck with this. But even if he didn't stuck with this, he just, you know, stopped in the, in the 80s. But this one was just horrible. You look at look at how he smiles. Even his lips. Look at his lips. are not even natural. They're like colored. 
he probably put lipstick or something. Even his eyelids, look at that, they're not natural. His nose is so screwed up. His cheeks are so out of balance. Look at that. It's not even balanced properly. His eyes are just dead, man. This is this is this this is an actual sign of a dead of an actual dead man walking, man. This is literally the definition of a dead man walking. I mean Man, I, it's so sad. He, he only died in his 50s, man. It was just horrible. It's astonishing and saddening to see the full extent of his transformation. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't happy with Back his own then, body. He was such a handsome young man. Yeah, literally, so look at him. He actually did this to please racist America. He that was probably bad. thought if he looked more like white America, then maybe they would accept him as one of their own and treat it's him sad, with love and respect. It's sad, man. Like, he, he never even How accepted his own was. body. The mainstream media, including those in the music industry, have always teased him about his beautiful yeah. broad nose and curly hair since he was a child. They're partially to blame for his plastic surgery addiction. I mean, it's so sad. Look at him. You know, he went through a very difficult time. I know a difficult period, but he was never happy with his own body. I mean, you look at him. Some people say he had vitiligo, which turns brown to white and vice versa, like a skin discolorization. But I don't believe it's that. I think he, yeah, he really just wasn't happy with his own body. And it came to a point where he himself was like, he needed more. It's like w the nose wasn't enough, the skin, the eyes, the cheek, the mouth. Even his whole body is covered like, I think he holds the Guinness World Record as the most plastic surgery in the world. But I, I think that's not right. But this is just sad, man, to see a man like him who's very talented, very blessed. And yet he... And yet, and yet, he died by the cause of his own actions, man. Man, I miss you, Michael. Number three. Who's the number three now? Amanda Lepore. I have no idea who are you, but let's look at you, Amanda. How ugly do you look? Come on, show me, Amanda. Show me. Amanda Lepore. Okay, this is an intro of the mo of the video, so yeah, <laughs> it's quite obvious. I'm not going to even talk too much about this. You can already tell that she doesn't look... Natural. Ford had her first plastic surgery procedure at the tender age of 15. Dude, you could have plastic surgery at 15 years old? That is insane! I think what? How can you have plastic surgery at 15? Who's allowing this? There should be a law, man, saying that you can't have it at 15. It's insane! How? What, what did your parents... What were your parents thinking? 15 years old? Are you mad? She had a sex change operation. You had a sex change operation? Dude, God mercy, please. Oh, Holy Spirit, minister to this, la to this lady or man or whatever it is. Dude, this is insane. During her senior year of high school, and she has had countless botched plat- she's, I think she's trying to look like Marilyn Monroe. It's kind of quite obvious what she's trying to look like, but dude. Plastic surgeries since then. Not only has she- Oh my goodness. Done on her look at her. She looks beautiful back then. How beautiful she looks and look at her now. She looks she looks like she looks like that character from like Attack on Titan man, that female character where he, where the where that Titan ate Aaron Yeager's uh, mother. Yeah, it kinda looks like that, man. It's actually quite terrifying to look at right now. Face. I'm afraid she's she like gonna eat me or something like to painful and extreme procedures. Oh man at one point she had some of her ribs removed. In order oh, to gross, man. That's the one thing you never do to your body. Never remove your ribs. Your ribs are there to protect your internal organs like your lungs, your stomach, and your other important parts. When you remove it, you're exposing your body to dangers. When you, when something hits you, especially your stomach area, your whole body and feels it, man. So the ribs actually protect everything. So when you remove ribs one by one, it's just disgusting and it's just not right, man. It's just horrifying. You're thinner. Her before and after photos leave most people speechless. Now this resembles she like really the Roger Rabbit kind of stuff, man. Jessica Rabbit. Cheek injections went into overdrive. Man, it's sad, man. How people still are not happy with their own bodies. How, how they're not happy with what God created, you know? Show you how we do stuff like oh, come on, man. Uses .com, so I'm I don't like you, Monday.com. Screw Jocelyn you. Wildenstein. I have no idea who you are. Wolfenstein, Wildenstein. I don't know what you are. Let's have a look. Show me. Coming in at the number two spot I remember is Jocelyn no. Wolfenstein. So what exactly drove this wealthy woman to... She's so beautiful back then. Why? Why and why must you do this to your own body? Spend over $4 million on cosmetic surgery. It all started in the 70s when she cut her wealthy art dealer husband in bed with a 21-year-old Russian model. 
Dang. Most women would have just filed for divorce and taken half his money or more, but not Jocelyn. She instead opted to go under the knife to win back the love of her cheating hubby, but to no avail, her douchebag husband left her anyways. Wow. Just take a look <laughs> at her before and after photos. She was such a fresh faced, attractive woman, but now she's permanently scarred, all because of an unfaithful man. You can tell she's gone through a lot of difficulty in her life where. I think after when her husband left her, she kind of felt like she was very insecure about her looks. Like the husband left for a 21-year-old girl. I'm going to call it girl. Not, she's not a woman. She's still a girl. Um, when uh, It's just sad, man, that when a husband leaves his wife for another girl who's like twice or five times younger than her, it goes to show that really she really has a lot of insecurities about her looks. Like she must have been going through her mind thinking that, was I not beautiful for my husband? Or did I really... You know, look ugly to him. I mean, this is an example of a reason why a lot of people get surgery because they think they're not beautiful anymore. But sorry, Jocelyn. I mean, I'm so sorry, man. This is just saddening to see. I feel your pain, man. This is just horrible. Number one. Okay, who's the number one? The top Hang one. Miyoku. The top. Oh, Hang Miyoku is a Japanese? The real goat is a Japanese? What? Hang Miyoku. Is a South She's so oh, sorry. I'm so sorry if I thought she was Japanese. Okay, I'm so sorry. South Korean. Okay, I'm so sorry. Dude, she's really beautiful. Honestly, she's very beautiful. Korean model who developed a plastic surgery addiction. Oh man. She'd had such extensive work done. To she her still face. looks beautiful, by the way, plastic with a little bit of surgery. Used to do any further work on her. Really? Oh, good. One surgeon even suggested that she has a psychological disorder. Wow. Since she couldn't find a. Oh my goodness, God help me. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness, is this Jabba the Hutt? Or was this? Dude, dude. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. This is. Look at this. From this to this. Like literally, from this to this to this and to this. This is sickening, man. Oh my goodness, what Plastic happened? The surgeon that would feed her addiction. She then decided to take matters into her own hands. She did it herself? Sunflower cooking oil into what the face. hell? Sunflower cooking oil? How do you even do that to yourself? Hang's face began to swell and swell until it became grotesquely enlarged. Even after doctors treated her and removed the foreign substance from her face, she still remains horribly disfigured. Oh my goodness, She's the God. She's victim and tragic case of plastic surgery addiction her this is not plastic surgery man this is like abuse i think she probably did this herself she probably thought that if the no doctors will help her she'll do it herself why i just don't understand it is, I, I do believe it is a psychological problem because she was very beautiful back then and now she just looks like this i mean i'm so sorry that this had to happen to you hung i'm so sorry like but don't be like that, man. Wow. Her before and after photos makes this claim very hard to refute. I know. It's just... And there you have it, folks. The top 10 most botched plastic surgery fails. If you've an opinion, go ahead and feel free to post it My in the comments section My opinion is please below. get some help. Also, please oh. do share our video and subscribe for more awesome Look at her, man. And smash the like button. Oh my goodness, look at her. Because cool people do. Alright, guys. Oh, wait. Let me, let me try to exit this video. Okay. All right, guys, um, I'm so sorry that I, that I had to show this video because uh, I just want to try something new from a Christian's from a Christian perspective. If you're going to do things like this, I mean, do it in a wise way. You know, don't try to be, you know, too anxious or, or too like, you know, so um, distressed about yourself saying that you're not beautiful. You know, God made you the way you are. The Bible says that he knit you together in your mother's room. In, in, in your mother's womb and because of that he even says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made you know he formed you perfectly in your mother's womb and no matter what you know you are created perfectly by God and God really loves you the way you are no matter what if any other people don't love you the way you are who cares about them but God sees you the perfect being that you are created by him you know and seeing all these plastic surgeries like from this person right here up all the way to like here 
it's just it just goes to show that plastic surgery can do a lot of harm but it can do some good too i mean if you're the person who has like gone through an injury like an accident or something and like been in a situation where you can't like you know come out of it i think sad sur surgery like plastic surgery is quite all right i mean it does help rebuild some things but it will not help you in long terms you know when it comes to facial issues you know like if you're a burn victim it does help you know getting plastic surgery but if you're a person who's already like born naturally and you're trying to enhance yourself i think you really need to look at yourself and go and seek some ex experts and not the experts that want to make money off you because the ones that want to make money off you are just they don't care about you you know go and see some people who really do care about you like your parents your pastors your leaders and good doctors who will really help you out well that's all for today's video this is a video it's an educational video to help you and to help me to see how plastic surgery can do some good but it also can do plenty of harm as well but without further ado i'd like to thank you guys for so much for support leave a like share if you subscribe comment on the video too helps us to improve ourselves and do subscribe to axios media for more videos like this take care god bless and you know we'll see you on the next one Bye bye peace